Okay class, so today we are going to learn about the properties of limits. The properties make the process of evaluating limits considerably easier for certain classes of function. Limits of these types of function may be evaluated by substitution of A. We are going to look at seven properties of limit that you have to know. The first one is when the limit of a function, the limit of a constant, when x approaching a is always equal to the cons constant itself. So, here will be 5. The limit of x when x approaching a, x is a variable, so it is equal to a. So, therefore, the limit of x when x approaches 2 will be 2. Alright, the next one. When the limit of x to the power of a real number, when x approaching a is always equal to a to the power of n. So, we will write here as 4 to the power of 2. So, we will get 16 here. Alright, when we have a constant... Right, multiply with the function so we can bring the constant in front. So we can write it as limit 5 limit of x when x approaching 4. So here we will have 5 times 4. So we will have 20. Right. The fifth one, when we have operation plus minus for two function f and g so here we can do it separately so we can have it as limit of 3 x squared when x approaching 4 minus the limit of x when x approaching the same thing 4 so here i will do it separately so we will have it as 3 times 4 squared minus 4. So, it is equal to 4. Alright. So, the next one is the limit of a product of two different functions. Alright. And we can also do it separately. Alright. So, I will do it. Limit x cubed x approaching 2 multiply with the limit of x squared minus 3 when x approaching the same value. Alright, so I will do it separately. So here I will use substitution method. So we have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 squared minus 3. So here I will have 8. Alright. The next one, when we have a dividend, the limit of fx over gx, when x approaching a, so we will also do it separately, provided that the limit of gx when x approaching a is not equal to 0. If not, then the limit will be undefined. Alright, so here we will have limit of x squared when x approaching 3, alright, over the limit x plus 1, x approaching 3. I will do it separately here. I will substitute 3. So, I have 3 squared over 3 plus 1. So, here I will have 9 over 4. Alright. Thank you.